Good morning children. Welcome to grade 5. This is your English class. Today we are going to learn about revision patterns of terminal exam 2. Are you ready children? Yes. Every English language or grammar paper includes a comprehension exercise. So, what is the comprehension exercise, children? The comprehension exercise aims to test our skills in comprehending. Comprehension means the comprehension exercise aims to test our skills in comprehending. What is comprehending? The ability to understand or grasp is known as comprehending. That means the ability to understand the reading passage children. So in comprehension exercise the passage is given consisting of one or more paragraph. On based on that passage there are few set questions. On based on that passage there are few set questions. The set questions test our ability to understand the content in the paragraph children and to infer meanings from it. I repeat children, the set questions test our ability to understand the content in the paragraph and meanings also. Now let us look at the steps that we need to follow to do the comprehension exercise. Steps. Read the passage quickly once to understand its main theme. I repeat children. Read the passage quickly once to understand its main theme. What is the theme that is being discussed in the Passage children. Step 2. Do not worry about the difficult words that are there if any. I repeat. Do not worry about the difficult words that are there if any. That means don't worry about the difficult words children. Now step 3. Read the passage again carefully and comprehensively. Do it slowly to grab even the minute details. Try to understand, make out the meanings of the words that you don't know. I repeat, read the passage again carefully and comprehensively. Do it slowly to grab even the minute details. Try to understand, make out the meanings of the words that you don't know. That means children, you should read in detail. That you should read in read detail. When you read the passage in detail and comprehensively, you can make out or infer the meanings of the word that you don't know. Step 4. Now go through the questions. Do not attempt them before you go through the passage in detail. I repeat. Now go through the questions. Do not attempt them before you go through the passage in detail. That means children, you must always remember that you should not attempt go through the questions before you go through the passage in detail. After you have read the questions. Fifth one, after reading the questions, read the passage again. Mentally work out the location of the answer to each question in the passage. I repeat, after reading the questions, read the passage again. Mentally 
work out the location of the answer to each questions in the passage so children what do you do once you have read the questions you know what they are you will read the passage again when you are reading the passage again try to work out the answer to questions or try to find out where an answer to each question lies and then start answering one by one children children now there are certain points that you must always remember when you write your answers first one the answers must be in complete sentences i repeat the answers must be in complete sentences second one they must be relevant and to the point they must be relevant and to the point third one they should be simple and grammatically correct they should be simple and grammatically correct fourth one they should be written in your own language they should be written in your own language please children do not use the language of the passage do not use the language of the passage second one the tense of the answers should be in the same tense as that of the questions asked the tense of the answers should be in the same tense as that of that questions they asked the children third one even if you may know more facts about the topic from external source stick to the facts given in the passage i repeat even if you may know many facts about the topic from external source stick to the facts given in the passage that means children you may know more facts but what is given in the passage only that you have to write so now that you know how to handle the comprehension exercise let's see the exercise now children a healthy lifestyle is a reading comprehension passage let's get into the passage children the thompson family has been trying to eat healthy meals for a very long time but found it difficult to keep it up mr and mrs thompson work long hours at the hospital where the mr and mrs thompson work for a long time hospital and feel exhausted when they arrive home they will be very happy when they will arrive home they also have three young children they also have three young children who needed a lot of care then david is 8 years old first child is 8 years old name david their daughter and is 6 second one is daughter name is and 6 years old and then and the baby is 1 then the third child 1 year old it is difficult for the family to cook healthy meals every day for months mr thompson has been ordering food during the week who is ordering the food mrs thompson 
has been ordering food during the week which is delivered after they arrive from work this is a bad routine and the thompsons know this fact very well and have started to worry that their children will get so used to eating fast food it will be difficult for them to change this habit for the past 2 weeks they have been eating healthy homemade meals and feel very excited about it children are you understand about this passage yes this is about the healthy lifestyle so related to this passage few questions will be there children now we are going to do that first one choose the correct answer here we are going to choose the correct answer how many children do they have i repeat how many children do they have the options are 6 3 2 children are you know the answer yes only 3 children the answer is 3 now second question mr thompson works in dash the options are school office hospital the answer is hospital the answer is hospital then second roman answer the questions first one does the thompson family eat healthy meals i repeat the question does the thompson family eat healthy meals the answer is thompson family has been trying to eat healthy meals for a long time i repeat thompson family has been trying to eat healthy meals for a long time second question who orders food every day i repeat who orders food every day the answer is mrs thompson has been ordering food during the week i repeat the answer mrs thompson has been ordering food during the week now second roman children picture composition what do you know about the picture composition you have to observe the picture and write about the picture related five sentences look here children some example sentences it is a beautiful garden look here the garden is there then house is there the girl is planting so it is a beautiful garden second one the girl is planting the flowers so here the girl is planting the flowers third one there are many beautiful flowers like roses sunflower and lilies yes here many flowers are there fourth one she waters the plants daily she waters the plants daily she is watering the plant so related to the picture you have to write five sentences the clue words are given below in the exam children for example only i gave a picture here then we are moving to the grammar section choose the correct verbs for the following sentences children or you know in a sentence the verb must always agree with the subject in number and 
person. The verb in the sentence must be singular if the subject is singular. If the subject is plural, then the verb will be plural as well. So, the verse, verb must always agree with the subject in number and person. So, now we are moving to the sentences, children. First one, the dog chases the cat. Here, I gave only the answers, children. But in the question paper, you have option. Here, singular subject, dog. Subject is singular. So, singular verb chases. Singular verb chases. Second one, the planes fly in the sky. The planes fly in the sky. Here, plural subject, planes. So, plural verb fly. Plural subject, planes. So, Plural verb, fly. Third one, third one, I am 10 years old. I am 10 years old. The verbs be and have change their forms depending on the subject. I repeat, the verbs be and have change their forms depending on the subject. Here, subject I. So, am will come for present tense. So, the sentence is, I am 10 years old. Then, fourth one. I was 9 years old last year. I was 9 years old last year. Here, was. Verb is was. So, here subject I in past tense was will come. Are you clear children? Subject I in present tense am. I in past tense was. Then we are moving to the fifth one. He is a tennis player. He is a tennis player. Here Subject he. So, in present tense, subject he, she, it. Singular noun means is only will come. Then, sixth one. She was a swimmer. She was a swimmer. Here, subject he, she, it. In past tense means was will come. So, he, she, it in present tense means is. He, she, it in past tense means was. Only for singular noun. Then, seventh one. They are my friends. They are my friends. So, children, if the subject you, we, they. In plural, present tense means are, you are, we are, they are. Then, eighth one, they were in the same class. They were in the same class. Here, you, we, they are in past tense means were. You were, we were, they were. Okay, ninth one. I have lots of books. I have lots of books. Here, the subject I, you, we. Plural means have. I, you, we. Plural means have. So, I have lots of books. Then, tenth one. She has several Friends. She has several friends. The subject he, she, it in singular noun means has. He, she, it 
singular noun means has are you clear children then second roman underline the adverbs for the given sentences underline the adverbs for the given sentences He, what is adverbs children an adverb is a word which tells us more about the verb adjective or another adverb in the sentence now we will move to the sentences first one sara plays with her friends daily sara plays with her friends daily here the adverb daily tells as how often sara plays it describes the verb plays i repeat the adverb daily tells as how often sara plays it describes the verb plays okay second one sham drives extremely fast i repeat sam drives extremely fast here the adverb extremely describe the adverb fast i repeat the adverb extremely describes the adverb fast then third one she is a very tall woman she is a very tall woman here the adverb very describes the adjective tall here the adverb very describes the adjective tall so an adverb is a word which tells us more about the verb adjective or another adverb in the sentence children fourth one she cried bitterly she cried bitterly before uh, i am going to explain this i tell you types of adverbs adverbs are five kinds adverbs are five kinds adverbs of manner adverbs of time adverbs of place adverbs of degree adverbs of frequency here adverbs of manner she cried bitterly an adverb of manner shows how an action is done it answer the question how or in what manner so it answered the question how she cried how she cried bitterly so adverb fifth one come here said the teacher come here said the teacher so this is adverb of place an adverb of place tells us where an action takes place where an action takes place here come here said the teacher adverb is here so where the action is takes place here so adverb of place sixth one i'm going to play now i'm going to play now here adverb of time an adverb of time indicates when an action takes place an adverb of time indicates when an action takes place here i am going to play now so when you are going to play now so now is a adverb seventh one the tea is very hot the tea is very hot it is adverb of degree an adverb of degree tells us how much or to what extent an action is done an adverb of degree 
tells us how much or to what extent an action is done. The T is very hard. So, very is adverb. It shows extreme. How much? So, it is an adverb of degree. Are you clear children? Now, we are moving to third Roman children. Fill in the blanks with appropriate proportions. What is proportion? A proportion is a word which shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun. I repeat children. A proportion is a word which shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and some other words in a sentence. Let's see the first one. The thief ran to the door. The thief ran to the door. Then second one. I put the jug on the table. I put the jug on the table. In the first sentence, to is a proportion. In the second sentence, on is a proportion. Which is given in a red color words AR. Show the relationship between the nouns and pronouns in the sentences. Children, are you clear? The proportions in Red color or show the relation between the nouns and pronouns in the sentences. But sometimes proportions may be placed at the end of the sentence. Sometimes proportions may be placed at the end of the sentence also. Let's see the third one children. Whom are you? Speaking to. Whom are you speaking to? Here, to is a proportion. Maybe a single word or a group of words can also be proportions. For example, according to, as result of, in front of, in front of, in place of, like this. Fourth one. I have to finish the work by tomorrow. I have to finish the work by tomorrow. Here, before I explain this sentence, let me explain you how many kinds there in proportions, children. Are you remember that? Proportions are of three main kinds. Proportion are of three main kinds. Proportion of time, proportion of place and proportion of movement. Proportion of time, proportion of place and proportion of movement. Okay. Here, by is a proportion of time because I have to finish the work by tomorrow. Proportion of time. Indicate a specific period of time. I repeat, proportion of time indicate a specific period of time. Here, the proportion by helps us to understand when something happens. I repeat children, here, the proportion by helps us to understand when something happens. Now, fifth one. His house is at the corner of the street. His house is at the corner of the street. Here, at is proportion of place. At is proportion of place. Proportion of place are used to refer to the place where something or someone is located. I repeat children. 
proportion of plays are used to refer to the place where something or someone is located here the proportion tells us where something or someone is the proportion tells us where something or someone is so here his house is at the corner of the street where the house at at the corner of the street where something is okay children now sixth one we swam across the river we swam across the river here proportion is across this is proportion of movement proportion of movement what is proportion of movement children proportion of movement show movement from one place to another proportion of movement show movement from one place to another so here we swam across the river the proportion across show movement from one place to another so a proportion is a word which shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and some other word in a sentence children here proportions are to on to by at across these are proportions children we have seen three patterns in revision the remaining one we will see in the next video class are you clear with these patterns children okay once again revise all the pattern children prepare well for the exam i will see you in the next video class thank you children